Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are going to have a look at the three different string types in the Unreal Engine game framework. So let's get started. This video is an overview of Unreal string types. To give a short introduction before we dig deeper into all the functionalities of strings in the following videos of this series. So let's have a look at what are strings. Strings in general are alphanumeric data, so they can include numbers and characters and stuff. They are just a group of lists of single characters, and they are usually grouped into an array of varying length. Compared to the native C++ string types, Unreal has its own types, and they are called string, name, and text. So if you're familiar with blueprints and you've used name, text, and strings, here are a short conversion from blueprint to C++. So a name is called fname in C++, text is called ftext, and string is called fstring. And before we get more into detail about all these three types, let's first have a look at what immutability is. So there are two of the three types are immutable classes, and that means that an immutable object or type is an object which state does not change after it's created. And you cannot change or manipulate that object after its creation. So when an immutable string is created, you can't manipulate it, can't remove characters, add characters, split the, char uh, the string and so on. This can not be done so, and two of the three are immutable. So let's have a look at first fname. And this is one of the immutable classes. So fnames are mostly used for unique IDs, actor tags, for example, or the parameters of dynamic material instances, or like a socket or level name. That's where these F names are used for. And F names are case insensitive. That means that if you are writing an F name, all uppercase or lowercase, it's the same. So case sensitivity does not matter with F names. And thus they're really used for unique IDs, names, and so on in the game framework. And they are lightweight strings that are that share a global data table and are accessed through index values. So once you create a name, it's added to a global data table. And so the equality is based on that index value and they're accessed through that index value. Basically, it's like a hash table and the nature of F names and its subsystems make them really fast to look up and provide a fast string to F name conversion. F text. F text is also immutable. And they also store an index to a shared character array. And the equality is also based on that index value. So we are not comparing the single characters of an F name or F text, but only the index values. And the most thing that so F text primarily is used for text localization. And so all user facing text should be really used with the F text string class. And you can see that in many UMG widgets that have text, they have F text parameters. And F text supports formatting text and you can generate text from numbers, dates and times and so on. And then lastly, we have F string. This is the most commonly used one, and this is the only one that is not immutable. And that means it can be searched, modified, and compared against other strings. And But this makes also strings more expensive than F names and F text, because they have their own character array. And so you can really do a lot of stuff with F strings. You can split them, append strings, create substrings, and many more functions that manipulate F strings are available. So before we finish this video and you've looked at these slides for the last couple of minutes, let's have a look at the editor for a second to see what is there in blueprints and give you a short overview in C++. So like you see, you have string, we have name and text with these different colors. So you're probably familiar with them. You can see with text and F name, there's not much to do. Like this is only a basic overview of things. There, there are some more things and we will dig deeper into each and every string type in the next videos, cover every little function and thing that you can do. 
And what you can see here is where strings or F strings are used mostly for is like print, printing strings on the on the screen and in C++ like lock outputs and so on. You can convert strings to numbers and floats or vice versa. And with strings you have many different functions like contains, starts with, end with, and you can replace split stuff, parse into a different array, append lower to uppercase and so on and so forth. This is what you can do with strings. And like I mentioned, we will cover each of these different categories of manipulation, of comparison, of converting, and so on in separate videos. And just as a teaser in C++, let's have a look at how this is done. So what we will really cover is how to create strings, how to do different debug outputs, converting to float in from string, converting to strings, the special printf function or static function, then comparison, searching, replacing, uh, concatenating strings, that means appending and so on, so splitting it and many more things. So look forward to a lot of videos coming out covering all the strings in the following videos and yeah, that's it for this video. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability and knowledge, but if I didn't or things were unclear, please feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.